What's up, my beautiful dreamers, and welcome back for another video with your girl, Shalinda One. Okay, so I get the question about porosity a lot, and I've done a video on low porosity. If you haven't done, if you haven't seen that video, I would link it below. My eye is getting on my nerves. It's just running all over the place. Cut it out. If you haven't seen that video, I would definitely link it below and put it in the cards. You definitely want to go check out that video. I think I spoke a little bit about ways that also I'm going to talk about today. But I just want to give you guys a few quick tips on how to determine what porosity your hair may be. Now remember, you may not fall under every single little criteria. But these are quick little tests that you can just pay attention to while you're doing your hair to see what your hair is doing to kind of gauge you in a direction on what porosity your hair may be. Okay, so let's start with low porosity first. Porosity it, is about the way your hair absorbs and retains moisture, okay? That's all it is. How does your hair absorb and retain moisture? There are different levels. Usually they say it's low porosity, high porosity, and then right there in the middle. I do believe that there can be a right there in the middle. And what does that mean? When you're right there in the middle, you might have a little bit of traits from low porosity. You may have some traits from high porosity. However, knowing your porosity does have a significance on your hair regimen building it helps you kind of determine what kind of products do you need do you need more watery based products do you need more creamy based products do you need a heavier product do you need a lighter product do you um so those are some of the kind of gauges that helps with knowing your hair porosity so the way i determined that i was low porosity was a few things when i first when i uh, apply water to my hair the water doesn't just penetrate my hair water beads off of my hair first and that's a good indication that my strands are so closely bound close closed bound is that the way you say it my hair is my strands are so tightly bound that it doesn't allow moisture to get in relatively easy so what happens is think about something being really really tight and then you're trying to put moisture on it it's not going to just go in it's going to start to bead off that is a good indication that you have low porosity hair. When I'm in the shower, um, I can't just get in the shower and my hair just become drenched within the first one or two minutes. Like I have to really stand under the water and really push that water and really help that water absorb into my hair. Another indication that I have low porosity hair. Another indication that I had low porosity hair was when I go to moisturize my hair like certain moisturizers wouldn't penetrate my hair. I really had to pay attention to using those moisturizers that was kind of lightweight so that I can use them to help it penetrate my hair. A lot of like thicker moisturizers would sit on the surface of my hair because my hair was low porosity. It wasn't just getting in. So if I didn't have more of a liquid lightweight moisturize that help kind of get through those crevices of my strands to really get into my strands that hair that product was just sitting on the surface of my hair and not penetrating which means that my hair has a bunch of now product buildup but it's not getting moisturized even though i'm using the creamiest of the creamiest moisturizer which is why shea butter really never worked for me because it's so thick it just kind of sat on the strand without actually being penetrated so, and then when I go to dry my hair, even though I have very fine hair, it took forever for my hair to dry. Like, forever. Like, get your life together. Like, what's happening right here? So, those are quick indications that I knew that my hair was low porosity. Now, you can put your hair, you can take, you can do the cup test and put a strand of hair inside of a cup and see if it floats to the top or the bottom. You can do that, but I find that... That's not a very good indicator just because one is one strand of hair and is one strand of hair and in all of our heads, the truth, the majority of our hair may be one type of porosity, but we may have different sections of our hair that do very different things. Um, I may have the front may be low porosity, the back can be high porosity. It's all about taking the time along your journey and really paying attention to what your hair is saying. If this side of your hair dries way quicker than this side and it's been under the air the same amount of time, that's something to start looking at. If you moisturize 
this side of your hair and this side of your hair the same exact way but this side feels way more moisturized and this one feels super super still dry something to pay attention to and it happens all of the time very rarely will you find a person who entire head is one porosity you may have one section here one section there all of all of all it comes down to is really paying attention when you're in the shower when you're moisturizing and sealing your hair pay attention to what you're feeling that is the number one indication uh, that's the number one way to figure out what your hair porosity is now if you're high porosity you're going to have the total different reaction if you get in the shower your hair is wet like that um when you go to spray water on your hair there is no beating all that water is quickly absorbed and the reason why is because when you have high porosity hair it's like a gate the gate is wide open right so that water is able to go right in and why does that happen usually what they like to say is that high porosity hair has a lot to do with um when you chemically alter the bond and just to quickly clarify you can absolutely positively have high porosity hair without ever, ever, ever have used chemicals. So if you're a naturalista who has never ever used chemicals, you yourself can still have high porosity hair. That just simply means that you have a more wide open porous of hair. Your bond is just not as closed or tightly wound as those of low porosity. You just have a wider open porous hair bond. That's it. However, we do find in some cases that those who do chemically treat their hair have high porosity hair because the chemical that they've used has aided in the loosening of said bond. I want to make sure that's clear because I don't want none of y'all coming after me like, no, no, no. <laughs> okay, guys, back to the video. Able to absorb quickly. However, you don't retain it very long because those gaps, just like as fast as you get it, is as fast as it goes away. So that's what you need to be paying attention to when it comes to high porosity. Does your hair get wet quickly? And if it does, that's fine because that's a good thing instead of sitting there pushing it in. But how long will it stay that way? Does your hair dry extremely quickly? That's another sign of high porosity. Um, uh, does it not, do, do your hair, your hair never feels moisturized? Now with low porosity hair, it takes a minute for our hair to become moisturized, but once it is, it stays moisturized longer. Just because, like I said, it's so tightly bound. What goes in, it's hard to get it in. But once it's in there, it's in there for a decent amount of time. So you find that women with low porosity hair say that their hair is way longer moisturized than others. Now, for women who have high porosity hair, I'm not saying that they cannot achieve moisturized hair. Of course not. However, they may have to use thicker products to last longer to make sure their hair is moisturized longer. Hopefully that makes sense. So these are just little tips that you can pay attention to as you're going through your hair routine to come up with your hair porosity. And knowing your hair porosity does help you determine the best products for your hair. Um, my favorite hair brand right now that I've been using in my hair just as a gauge is the Jane Carter Healthy Hair Line. I love that line because most of it is very watery, liquidy. Even the um, the co-washes are creamy, but lightweight, creamy, whipped, creamy type. So my hair is able to really just conform. Anything that's too heavy, my hair is not really rocking with. So I hope this helps, guys. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't done so already, rate, comment, and subscribe. You definitely want to subscribe. You never, ever, 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 ever want to miss another video from your girl from Shalinda One because we, we do all types of stuff over here. We talking hair, we talking makeup child, we talking these badass kids, we talking, yes, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I love you guys so much for watching. Be sure to follow me absolutely everywhere at Shalinda One and definitely click that bell so you'll become a part of the notification squad. Never miss another video with your girl. Shalinda One, I love you guys and I'll see you in the very next video. Mwah. Bye guys.